All right, so welcome to the video. Today we're gonna talk about how we built the two thermistor data acquisition system. On the right we have a list of parts, including two thermistors, which are around 10,000 ohms at room temperature. For that reason, we've also used two resistors that are also 10,000 ohms to use as in the voltage divider. An LED to warn us when the thermistor temperature difference changes by more than three degrees, and an accompanying resistor for that, and then a bunch of jumper wires. So to jump right in, we're gonna connect five volts from Arduino to the positive rail of the breadboard. And then we're gonna connect ground from Arduino to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now we're gonna construct the measurement part of our circuit, the two voltage dividers. First, we'll place both thermistors down I like to place them far away from the kind of action in the board so I can pinch them or something to change the temperature. And now we're going to take one of our 10,000 ohm resistors and place it in series with one of our thermistors. This sets the groundwork for the first voltage divider. And really you just want to choose resistors that are somewhat equal resistance to what your thermistor is at room temperature. So these are just cheap ones from AliExpress and they're around 10,000 ohms at room temperature. I just used a multimeter to measure it. And this just gives us a slightly more well calibrated voltage divider so we can measure the resistance more accurately. Okay, so now that those are both in, we'll take jumper wires to connect one side of the voltage divider to ground, in this case I use the thermistor side, and the other side of the voltage divider to positive 5 volts from the Arduino. And we finish these up by taking a jumper wire from between the thermistor and the resistor and connecting it to one of two, well, one of five analog pins on the Arduino. In this case, we're just using the analog pins A0 and A1. And then in our program, we'll actually read the voltage off of these pins and the reference will be ground. Yeah, and apparently I didn't like that the wires were crossed, so I just switched them. Gotta have a pretty breadboard. Gotta take ride in it. Okay, so now we'll move on to the feedback portion of our circuit. This LED is going to light up uh, if the thermistors ever sense a temperature difference greater than 3 Celsius. So we'll connect that LED to pin D5 on the Arduino. And we'll connect the shorter side of that LED, the ground side, to ground of the Arduino. And we do this with a resistor because the LED isn't enough of a load. Um, so it'll actually, the Arduino could burn out your LED if you don't use a resistor. Okay, time for the best part, testing it out. Seeing if we have to rebuild everything. So the code's uploading now. And we'll pinch one thermistor to create a temperature difference. The LED goes on and should come back off as the temperature goes down. And it does. We're done. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I hope you build this circuit. And I hope it works.